We know that hot and dry weather and lightning can start a wildfire, but when fires become big and intense enough, they can even start to generate their own weather and even start more wildfires. These clouds start as pyrocumulus clouds, and we saw them near Edson on Friday. When they grow large enough, they take on the name pyrocumulonimbus. Now, the exact trigger for pyrocumulonimbus clouds is not exactly known, but you do need a big fire and hot, dry, and windy weather. When the fire generates a certain amount of intense uh, heat energy release, it will go from just what they call a wind-driven fire to what they call a column-dominated fire. Pyrocumulonimbus clouds simulate thunderstorms and bring with them erratic winds and lightning with no rain for relief, which can make a bad situation worse. The research of pyrocumulonimbus clouds is still relatively new, but Fromm says that Canada does see more of these clouds than any other country in the world, and being able to predict them will be critical for future fire safety.